Welcome everybody. What do you think of my new sunglasses? I think they're pretty stylish. They aren't the most sleek sunglasses out there. You know, they're a little bit um, bulky. Right now I feel a little bit like Doc Brown from Back to the Future. I've got this big contraption on my head. Doc? Don't say a word. So why in the world would I be wearing these things? Well, it has to do with drones. These are the DJI goggles. They connect up to your DJI drone, and there's video screens in here which allow you to see what your drone is doing. There are even controls on the side and the bottom here which allow you to do various tasks to control your drone and your camera and your video recording. Yes, you can do all of the tasks that this can do from your smartphone or your tablet, whatever you have hooked up to your drone. However, what I notice is when I'm outside and my drone's up in the air and I'm trying to view that little device to create some epic cinematic aerial footage, well, the sun creates way too much glare on that device, and I can't see what's on the screen. There's just way too much glare. It, it makes it really difficult to do a good job. I did purchase a sunshade that was supposed to shield all of that glare off of the screen. However, it didn't really work. I still struggled with glare, and I would hold the tablet right up to my head with the the sunshade acting as like a as blinders on a horse and yet I still had a ton of glare coming in from the sides and it was in a lot of situations difficult to capture the type of footage that I wanted to because I just couldn't see what was going on on the screen at the time. Enter the DJI goggles. This is the whole reason why I bought these things. Theoretically they will eliminate all glare when I'm outdoors, so I get a perfect view of what my drone camera sees when it's up in the air, and it has the promise of allowing me to have greater control over what my camera's doing, because this thing actually has some head tracking mechanisms in it, so I can control where the camera is looking just by turning my head. So. If it works as promised, I should be able to produce some amazing videos. Do they work? Does it really offer an improvement? Well, let's find out, shall we? The problem is I, I was gonna get up, I just can't see where I'm going. Oh yeah, a fresh new DJI product to unbox. Let's open this up and take a look inside. Here we have the main piece to the goggle setup. There are some ports here on the side. You don't have to worry about these. These are mostly to use the goggles to watch other types of videos. This rectangle here is where you plug the headband into. And that is where you feast your eyes. On the bottom you have adjustments for pupillary distance, and a back and a function button. On the side, here's your power button and your battery level indicators. Digging further into the box, we have, what is this? An HDMI cable. This is for watching videos off of a DVD player or this cable is used to connect to your controller or to charge the goggles. It has a micro USB on one end and a regular USB on the other. Here's the included battery charger. These are the instruction manuals. Very important with this product to give these a read over before you begin. And here is the second part. This is the headband. 
this connector fits into the other part of the goggles. And you can adjust the goggles up and down like so. Looking at the quick start guide, we find out that you have to charge the battery first. And I do find it interesting that they don't mention the Mavic Air, even though it is a compatible product. This micro USB port on the headband is how you charge the batteries. So let's go ahead and do that now. As you can see, the indicator light has turned on. It is charging. And it is a buzz kill, but you're going to have to wait about five hours for this to charge. Okay, I've charged the battery and turned the goggles on. And as you can see, there's an initial menu procedure that you have to go through. Uh, what? It looks like you have to have a Mavic Pro to activate these with a mobile device, so I guess I'll be using the Assistant 2 and figuring out exactly how to do that, because I've never used it before. Referring back to the handy startup guide, I see that the program can be downloaded at this web address. So I hopped on my computer, went to that address, went to the download section, and that's where I found the program. Wow, I'm sorry guys, I thought this was going to be a, a quick process and I would be able to show you the magic of these goggles, but wow, this is... So I apologize for putting up with this really boring product review. What? I don't understand. I guess I trust you. Ah, oh, jeez. Terms of use, privacy policy. Does anybody read these things? Okay, so you get to this point where you connect the goggles to your computer, and this pops up. You think that you're about to activate it, but no, you actually have to go in here and download some sort of firmware upgrade. So we start that downloading process here. I'll just go ahead and skip to the end. Okay, now we have to transmit. We'll skip to the end. And now we have to update. And I'll skip to the end of that because that takes five minutes. And the update is now complete. Whew. Okay. So now it should activate, right? No. Okay, I guess I'll go back to the main screen. Um, hmm, I, I don't understand. I don't see anywhere to update. As it turns out, you have to log in using your DJI account. Unplug and then replug in your goggles, and then your computer will recognize and begin the activation process. Let's go ahead and do that now. There you go. That was quick. Taking a peek inside the goggles, I see that we're activated. So let's go ahead and take these outside and go on our maiden test voyage. Okay, I powered the goggles up by pressing the button on the side. 
and I can't, I just can't get these to fit right. They keep slipping. They just, anyway. So, nothing's happening, and apparently, with the Mavic Air, you have to connect the USB cable into the controller. It doesn't stream your camera feed wirelessly. And there we go. We are cleared for takeoff. Here's a view of what you see with the goggles. The menu layout is a little bit different. To launch your drone, you have to navigate to this takeoff button. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And I can't figure out how to get out of that menu. As I remembered, there's that back button on the bottom of the goggles. I wish it was all controlled through that same side touch panel, but no. Anyway, so we're up in the air. Things are looking good. This is what it looks like. Oh, there's a few glitches. And with a Mavic Air, you're limited to 720p, which is a bummer. So let's go ahead and try that head tracking mode. Two finger swipe down, over to the option, and then one finger tap. Okay, we're in head tracking mode now. Looking up, there's not much room. Looking down. And looking to the side. What? What is going on here? What? I barely moved my head, and now it won't stop. Oh my... <laughs> Not what I expected. What is up with this head tracking feature? Whoa. Man, I'm still a little bit dizzy from that spinning around. I just don't have good luck with DJI products, do I? So, these goggles were a little bit of a letdown. When you watch the little demo videos on the DJI website, they make the goggles seem really easy to use. Everything just works in those videos. My experience was anything but. It took forever to get them set up. I never was able to get them quite fitted right on my head. I feel like they were designed for a perfectly round, generic head. And if you've got a skinny white boy head like mine, it just doesn't fit right. That head tracking feature, I don't understand what went wrong there. Just, that was the biggest disappointment of all. Now there might be the ability somewhere in the submenus to calibrate the sensor inside of the goggles, but I couldn't find it at first glance and I didn't see anything about it in the instruction manual. So my, my verdict on these, as of today is that I can't recommend them. They don't quite perform as DJI promises. My opinion might change as time goes on. Maybe maybe it's the type of product that once you get really familiar with it, it just seems to work better, but this first attempt was not enjoyable at all. It didn't make my videos any better and it just made me nauseous. So there you have it. I hope that this video has been educational for you if you're considering purchasing these goggles. I hope this video helped to show you the real experience of what it's like to own these and get started with them. I try to show you guys in each of my product reviews what it's really like to buy some of these things. And yeah, that, that does make a lot of the fanboys mad and I do get some negative comments. I like to keep it real. Speaking of comments, do you own goggles? Do you like them? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another entertaining video, I'm sure.